Here's the SunDisk Professional, the fastest SunDisk device that you can get. I'm going to show you how to format it into APFS and also XFAT. When you get this SSD, it comes already formatted into APFS format, which is the ideal format using a MacBook computer. Generally, using a MacBook or a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, it is going to be best to have your SSD into APFS because you're going to get the highest speed possible with the drive. So if you plan to use this device with a Windows PC or an Android device, you need to have it formatted into XFAT. And in order to do that, you need to open the disk utility application first. After selecting the SSD and clicking on the erase on the top right of disk utility, I can erase the drive and it is going to remove everything. But doing it this way is going to keep the APFS format on the SanDisk Professional. So doing it this way is not going to let you choose the other format which is XFAT. So to get to the XFAT format, you need to double tap on the disk and after that you need to delete the APFS format. After deleting the APFS volume, it is going to show the drive and the name is going to be different. It is showing WD Black, which is the Western Digital, the parent company of SanDisk. Now that you see this name at the top and you can verify that this is the same drive that you have, 2TB or 4TB, you can now erase the drive and select the XFAT format. You will have this pop-up window and you can have the new name of your drive and also select the format that you want. So I want the XFAT format, so I selected XFAT and after that you do not have to do anything else. You simply need to give a new name to your SanDisk Professional or any other SanDisk device. After giving the name, you simply need to click on Erase. It is going to take a few seconds in order to erase the drive completely. And on the left of Disk Utility, you will see the new drive and the new name. If you go inside the Finder also, you will see the new drive on the Finder at the left and also you can click on get info it is going to show you the name and the capacity of the drive so the sandisk professional is rated to have 3000 megabyte per second speed reading and writing but after having the device into xfat format you can see that the speed is much lower than that so this is the price that you have to pay if you want to use your SanDisk Professional between multiple devices, especially a MacBook, a Windows PC and an Android device. So let's quickly go back to the disk utility and reformat the drive into APFS format and do another speed test in order to see the difference. Now that the disk is in XFAT format, you do not have the ability to delete the APFS volume. You simply need to click on Erase and it is going to show the pop-up menu for you to give the new name to your drive and select the APFS format. After giving the name, you do not have to select anything else except the APFS format and then you can click on Erase. It is going to take a few seconds to erase the drive completely and you will have the new drive on the left of Disk Utility into the APFS format. You will also see Time Machine Backup at the top right of the screen. When you have the SanDisk Professional into APFS format, you can see that the reading and writing speed is above 2500 megabyte per second, which is very high compared to the one that we were getting into XFAT format. If you use only Apple devices, the APFS format is the ideal format for your SanDisk Professional. 